Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Neil Joshi. Welcomes you to my series, Learn Radiology with Dr. Neil Joshi. Today's topic is a dental topic based on a dental CT unit, which is called CBCT popularly or a dental CT unit. We are going to see a physics behind it. So, let us get going. First to start with is a disclosure. Most of the material we are used in this uh, presentation is from our own department. Some of it we have borrowed from the net. However, we have checked that it is without any royalties. With this brief introduction, we are starting our main lecture. So, let us see what is CBCT that is a dental CT unit. This is meant for the, our dental friend. So, also radiologists who are using it only for the purpose of maxillofacial purposes. Though there are CT units, though there are large CT units which can be of 16 slice, 64 slice, but in spite of these units, this small unit has got its own role. Now, let us see what it is. CT scanner of the jaw can be made with a regular CT scanner. So, no problem. However, the regular machine needs lot of slices and that is why it is slightly more expensive than to get same examination done over CBCT. But a dental imaging, a dedicated volume cone beam CT scanner are preferred by dental surgeon because of its exclusive use for maxillofacial region. Now, cone beam computerized tomography system is a variation of traditional CT tomography system. Traditional CT is a variation. Its tradition is a larger. This is a compact and exclusive version of same. The CBCT system used by dental professional rotate around the patient's head, capturing data by using a cone shaped X ray beam. So, it is a modified version of a OPG machine. OPG machine also there is a film at one side, then X ray tube at second side and the tube rotates around head. This is similarly, but it is a volumetric machine and it gives more volume information than CT machine than OPG machine because it has got exclusive purposes, exclusive unit meant and designed for that purpose only. Now, dental cone beam CT is used for indications, treatment, planning of cosmetic surgery, cosmetic dentistry, then surgical planning of the impacted tooth, then accurate placement of the dental implant, diagnostic temporomandibular joint disorders, then complex cases of maxillofacial fractures for reconstruction. It can be very precise, it can be very accurate and it can be more rewarding, especially if it is a cosmetic surgery and it requires more finery. Now, evaluation of jaw, sinuses, nerve canals and nasal cavity are the other indications, then detection, measuring and treating jaw tumors, determining bone structures and tooth orientation, locating the origin of pain and pathology, then cephalometric analysis which are for diagnostic purpose as well as for a therapeutic purpose when we want to check repeatedly. So, also when we want to make some reconstructive surgeries, then this unit is extremely beneficial. Then reconstructive and cosmetic surgeries as we have seen already. Now, CBCT unit uses different component compared to the whole body CT scanner. It has got a dental, you can see here, a dental CT scanners have a compact X-ray tube. This tube is slightly larger than the OPG machine and a smaller than the CT machine it, because it needs a relatively low output as compared to CT, usually a fat panel detector compared to those used in X-ray for digital radiography or DR. Same flat panels are used here and in a similar way they are imaged. Now, what is the procedure of CBCT? Patient is asked about the recent illnesses before starting the test. You have to check patients clinically. You have to ask patient about the recent illnesses. You have to ask whether there are any medical indication, medical conditions, medical sicknesses patient has. Now, patient is then asked to sit on the examination chair, then the techni technician will position the patient in the machine 
so that there is a collimated central beam which is centered on the nose and in the central line so that proper without distortion images will come. Now, this is a unit you can see in here one side are the detectors and one side is the tube patient sits in the center on the chair and the machine rotates around. Now, patient is instructed to remain very steady till the X-ray source and the detector revolve around a 360 degrees or less. That means, it has to make one complete rotation around patient's head when the data is acquisited. The entire process can take between 20 to 40 seconds that is less than a minute for a complete volume full mouth x-ray. But if you want to go for a localized, uh, less than 10 seconds are required for a regional scan and that is also a focused small area scan can take of the mandible of the maxilla less than 10 seconds. Now, what are the benefits of CBCT? Since there is reduction in scatter radiation, image quality will be better. So, for a small indication, it gives excellent images. Then, cone beam CT scans provide more information than conventional dented X-ray, allowing for more precise treatment planning as far as maxillofaciary surgeries are concerned, as far as minute details are required. In these patients, CBCT can give excellent minute information. CBCT scanning is painless, non-invasive and is accurate because it focuses on certain areas. A major advantage of CBCT is its ability to image bones and soft tissues in a same time. But the precision is the different, that means the accuracy is different for a soft tissue and a bone. No radiation remains in the body after the procedure is complete and there are no significant radiation side effects after the procedure. Now, with that, we take home messages. It provides sufficient image quality for dental applications at relatively low cost. This has limitation about the soft tissue which cannot be exposed as good as that of the bone. Then CBCT acquire multiple thin axial images of jaw which are reformatted into a multiple panoramic and across the sectional views. Then it is exclusive machine for dental and maxillary applications. The design of dental cone beam scanners puts a limitation on the rotating speed of the arm. This means that the rotation time is relatively wrong. Long because it has to rotate 36 degrees, 360 degrees. And why it takes slow? Because it does not have slippering anodes like that of the CT machine. With that, we are coming to end of lecture. I thank you for giving me your valuable time. Please visit our website for comprehensive and detailed lecture on this topic and many other topic. Especially, you can visit our website for OPG, applications of OPG. We have published lot of uh, international papers on these applications. Though I am a radiologist, we have published paper on dental pathologies as well as that of the maxillary pathologies. Please visit our website for all these details. Please visit our YouTube channel for multiple lectures on this topic as well as many other topics. Thank you, goodbye and take care. See you again in next lecture.